All right, the next thing we got to make is some brake caliper uh, spacers. These aren't long enough, so we're going to take two of these, cut them down. These are a little over a half inch thick. We need five eighths total, so we need an eighth inch more than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both of these down to five sixteenths. And when we're all done, they'll be stacked up like this. Here, and we will have five eighths total. So that's what I'm going to do next. So the way we do that is we've got our dial indicator stuff here. We put this in the jaw of the chuck, hold off the little thin part here, the shoulder. I bottom the chuck out against the, the cutter or against the side of the chuck, set my indicator for about 5 sixteenths. So you come out 1, 2, 300, about 3, 14, 15, and that's where we'll cut it off, right to there. And that'll be 5 sixteenths inch total thickness, and we're done. Which is what we're after. Is that not focusing? There it goes. So once we get this cut down to five sixteenths, then we'll put the two of them together. That'll give us our five eighths. So like I said, this will be stacked up on here like that. So we're going to cut that. Uh, these you got to cut kind of slow because you're only holding off that little shoulder right there. So you got to be very careful. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. Let's see, three hundred. I'll look at my indicator, see where 300 is. One, two, three. So the little dial is straight out. I'm going to come close. Okay, let's see what we get. Just touch it off. Got a little bit out of wax. We chuck that up there. Turn this off. Alright, we're going. A little bit closer. You only cut a little bit here, can't get too carried away. Look at that, that far. Watch my indicator over here as we're going. Chip that is so we don't mar up the block. I think I'd be happy if we strip the black coating there. Anodizing. Okay, so there's three pins that are pretty close, right there. Crank it in some more. Pay attention to the camera, pay attention to the camera. I've got about three pins over there. Dial it. I can see what I'm doing here. Come down, baby. Left eye, I watch the cut. Right eye, I watch the dial. Anyway, that's so how we go for a while until it's done. Just gotta go slow so you don't rip it out of the chuck. Uh, we're all done, I'll show you how we measure it. So we'll take that. Okay, I got most of that cut down on now. So the way you measure this is you come across here in between your chuck jaws up over there. And you measure it. So about 315, 316. Fourteen and a half. Put a little burr on there in a couple spots. Fifteen. So we got a couple thousand to go. I already put the chamfer mark up on there. It's got a little shiny spot on the edge right there. Line up the cylinder. All right. So we have. Uh, Two to go. We're going to give it two. Turn the chuck on. We're going to cut it nice and slow. 
you have just a little shiny edge right there, what you do, that's a little tamper. You can cut yourself. Keep it relatively slow. Okay. Shut that off now. Oh. Come back and measure it. And we're shooting for about 312, 312 and a half. There's 13 right now on that spot. 12 and a half right there. And we're 12 there. So we got a thousandths variable in the whole diameter, which is pretty flat. So that's how you do it. Take your chip key, pull that off. Try to lose it down in the chip pile. So that's what it looks like when it's all cut up right now. So that damn focus don't want to work. So yeah, we got a, we deburred the edge right there, so it's not sharp. So now we can go ahead and make another one of these, and then we'll stack two together what we need. So I'll go ahead and cut some more of these off, and I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. Pretty much they're going to look like this, but we'll stack them up so you can see for sure. Same thing, we just do more of them. There they are all done. Got one set of them there. These are what we started with. <clears throat> That's how much we had to make up the gap right there, that little bit right there. It's about a hundred and uh, ten or fifteen thousand, I think. So anyway, that's what they look like now. So like I said, we had to cut them down, cut them in half, put them together, pull them together like that. You got your spacer. So one more uh, custom job done. Always got to make all these special little parts for these bikes you're doing. Non-stock stuff, you gotta do custom parts. So there you go.